Hello, how's it going guys? Today, we are going to be taking a break from going on off on adventures into other dimensions. And instead, we are going to create a colony. So this is something I might have been supposed to do at the very beginning, but it actually might be easier to do now that we have accumulated some resources. And that is getting into the Mine Colonies mod. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need when you're starting your Mine Colonies journey is either the Supply Ship or the Supply Camp. The Supply Ship is going to cost you five boats. The Supply Camp is going to cost you five different chests. I've already gone ahead and made the Supply Ship because I want to use this sort of natural looking port to put the ship right in the middle since my town center is going to be over there where that cobblestone is. So, you're going to right click on the ground and it's going to bring up the structure you're going to be spawning. I want a different type of ship than this. This is the Acacia Supply Ship. I want the, let's see here, the Medieval Birch Supply Ship. And then with these arrows and the plus and minus button, those are going to change the position and orientation of your structure. This is going to move to the right, to the left, farther away from you, towards you. This is going to flip it. And these are going to adjust which way it is pointing. I want it like this. It's going to have to be lower to the ground because the water is a level above the water that is naturally spawned. And then we have to find a spot where it works. We'll try this. And it looks like, as you can see, that it cannot be placed here because certain blocks must be water. So I'm gonna have to do some work and adjust it before I can actually spawn it in. All right, so I got it spawned in. I actually didn't have to do any work at all. I just had to move it away from the shore a little bit. I think the square or something was hitting these dirt blocks right here because of this little uh, ramp caused to square, but whatever. We've got it spawned and now we're gonna head on to the structure. And I think these right here, okay, so these are not chests. It should have a chest somewhere on this structure that we need to open. So let's head on inside. Ah, here it is. So this barrel right here, it has the town hall and a build tool as well as some paper. I don't know if we need the paper at the moment, but let's actually take a peek around and see if it has anything else. So it's got a ton of birch logs, some basic tools, second story down here where we're going to find some wheat as well as some dried kelp which you actually could use to feed your villagers more food for villagers some water bottles and some more resources oh these are racks which also can have stuff on them that's kind of cool all right now that we've got our supply ship we've got the town hall and the build tool we are going to place it down here but before i do that I'm actually gonna get rid of a large square of dirt here just so that it's on more flat ground. Okay, so we did just flatten out this large area right here as well as expand it this way. Uh, you can see I've not finished this and it's gonna go around there and hopefully that will all be level. But we have enough space, I believe, for the town center at least. We're just gonna get rid of this and use the build tool and when we go into the build tool, we can select what we want to build. We only have two options right now. We have the town hall or decorations. We definitely don't want acacia. I don't know if we want Asian. Birch. Dark oak looks very large. I think we're going to go with the fortress. As for the level, um... Go big or go home, right? Go big or go home. Placement. We're just going to place it where it is. And hopefully it looks good. <laughs> um, 
As you can see, though, it didn't place anything. Why is that? Well, that's because you're actually going to have to go into the town center block. And you're actually going to get a screen right before this that says create your colony. And when you select that, this is what's going to come up. After you select that, you're going to see these two little paragraphs right here in chat. One of which happens after about a minute where you'll get your first villager. Let's see. Samuel J. Gomershaw. What's going on, Samuel? My name's Sam, too. What also happens is that it creates a perimeter around the structure so you can sort of see how big it is going to be and you can build your other structures around it. I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't be up a layer here. Let's see what happens if I do this. Ah, perfect. So we're actually going to go through here and move this all down a layer so that it's all on the same Y level. But not right now, because right now what we're going to do is we are going to create the Builder's Hut. The reason the Town Hall is just a perimeter right now and doesn't actually have any blocks is because we don't have a Builder in our colony yet. The Builder is what builds everything, obviously, as the name implies. We also just got our second colonist here, and uh, she looks like a bell. Look at that skirt, or that dress. That's wonky. But hey, we got a chick and a dude. Now we'll get plenty more. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. So let's put the Builder Hall, let's see. If we do this, where does this put it? Uh, shoot. Wait, is that, oh, that's good. Cool, for some reason I thought it was inside the perimeter. It's not, this is actually kind of perfect. Although I'm not sure I like the orientation, but we're going to keep it anyways, because it fits. All right, what did that just say in chat? Great job on the placement of the builder's hut. However, that's not enough. You need to access it and click the build building button. Build building button. Soon your citizen will be creating new structures for the village. So, we click on this. Build building. Oh, there it is right there. Build request created. So now I assume, yep, this villager over here, Samuel J. Gomershaw, turned into the builder, and now he has a different outfit. The only thing is, he needs resources. And that is going to be your responsibility throughout, well, up until you build the resource collection buildings and get those colonists to do that for you you're gonna have to do it yourself. Okay, so as you can see, our builder is by the builder's hut and he is in the process of building it. However, when I clicked build building, there was a list of resources that I needed to put in the building inventory in order for him to build this because he actually needs those resources to build. Because I did not put it in there, I actually have to go over to him and whenever he has this little chat icon, I click on him and he tells me what he needs. So I need to make 33 oak signs, one dark oak door, 159 dark oak planks, and then I need to go in here and I need to put those things in this inventory so that he has the resources to build that specific building. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now, and we're going to get this Builder's Hut completed so we can start on the next necessary building. Alright, so we have been gathering some wood and other resources to give to him to complete this Builder's Hut. I've got them all in here and a little extra, but we're just going to give it all in a group. We're going to go into the inventory here. 
put all of these in here like so. Take these out because he doesn't need them. And see, he should start building now. Yep, he's taking them out. Cool, so he's going to take these out and he is going to build this builder's hut. But something I want to mention real quick. My villagers finally got hungry and what you do when you want to feed them, this is their food bar right here. You go into their inventory and you just put, you know, whatever they're going to eat, whether it's, you know, beef, bread, fish, put it in there. And once their hunger gets down to three bars is what I believe it is. They will eat it and be happy again. Our builder has now completed the builder's hut. Doesn't really look like what I thought it would look like. Kind of figured there would be, you know, a roof and a front, but this is what we got. So we're gonna go with it. Now we are gonna give him another job. Also, for some reason, our villager is like really far up there. Hmm, she's going to flirt with the testificates, I guess. Okay. So we're going to build the tavern next. The tavern is how we will house our initial villagers. This is how you build it. Got that. The barrel in the middle is just six sticks and three planks. But let's figure out where we're going to put the tavern for these villagers. If you look on this wall inside the builder, it lists all of the buildings and how big they are. This is gonna be 16 blocks deep by eight blocks wide. This is 16 by 16, and these are just the odd sized ones. Um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, the tavern is not listed, and that's the next building we're gonna be placing. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a 16 by 16. Maybe it falls under the, the citizen type of building. I'm not sure, but we're gonna head over here where I've got <laughs> Mary's talking smack over there uh, where I've got sort of a little area laid out hopefully it's big enough it is one block higher than these two but I'm not really concerned so let's let's see here if you hit F3 by G and G at the same time it brings up this chunk grid and you can tell where the center of a chunk is. This is one, two, wait, no, that's, each one of these is two blocks. So we've got one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's 16 blocks right there. This is gonna be the middle one, sort of, right here, I guess. And right about here, I think. Oh, my bad. Tavern. We want the fortress style, I think. And then, does it need to come up one? Looks like it needs to come up one. I'm not sure if that should be in the ground or above like this. It does have stairs. I say we're gonna do it like this and just try it. And see what happens. All right, so that took up, let's see, it's two, three blocks outside the chunk there, and two blocks, so yes, this what, well, is this one outside? Yeah, I think my placement was just slightly off center, but it is a chunk, so it does fall under the citizen category of building. I'm going to do a little adjustment here before we get this build started so that all of these perimeters are on the same level and the construction goes smoothly. Cleared some of the dirt around this perimeter so that everything is a perfect square. These perimeter blocks seem to be underneath this dirt. Shouldn't be a big deal though. Uh, I don't think it'll affect how the tavern turns out. We also took a look at what the tavern requires. This is a full list of everything that's needed for the builder to create this structure. It's quite extensive. Um, we spent the last hour and a half approximately collecting those resources. We've got them all in the chest over here. 
Um, and we are going to put those in this inventory, the tavern inventory. Though we'll probably wait until after we hit build building. Now that worker over there should come over here and start building it. But we're going to actually go over here, grab all these items here and pop them inside this inventory. That's definitely not enough space, I don't think, for everything. No, definitely not. So that builder better get his butt over here so we can borrow his inventory. Uh, okay. Also, our citizens are becoming disgruntled. We got Mary here. See this little chat bubble above her head? Mary Culkins. I get to build it again? She wants a house to live in, and she also wants a job. Fortunately, the tavern will solve one of those. All four of these citizens I have will live in the tavern until they get their own respective houses. Those two over there as well. So now we're just waiting on this guy right here, Samuel J. Comershaw. And he's frightened because there are no guards. He wants a house to live in. Huh. At least he's satisfied with his job. Jeez. Once you've submitted the build request, for the builder to come on over here and build the tavern you'll get this build request created and then after let's see that took after five minutes the builder will come over here and start building that's how long it took this one i don't know if that's how long it always takes one thing i will advise doing whenever you outline a structure and have your builder start building it is to come inside and get rid of all the grass and all the flowers. For whatever reason, they take a really long time to destroy blocks, and these are included in that slowness, and it just adds a good long while on the build time of this particular structure. So now that we've cleared all this out, he may or may not decide he wants to get rid of the dirt in the center. I'm not sure. And if he does do that, ah, it looks like he is. You can actually assist him with this to speed up the process. I'm gonna wait a little while because I don't really know what outline he's going for here with the structure, and I don't wanna mess him up. So we'll see what he does. Okay, guys, it has been a solid, uh, I don't know, I wanna say at least three hours since he started building this tavern. Which kind of brings me to a point here you're gonna have to be patient with this mod this builder i don't know if this is how all builders are if they level up at some point and get better but it takes them a long time to build and it's very tedious because you're gonna have to keep checking up on him see if he still has a shovel see if he still has a pickaxe sometimes he's just disgruntled about you know not having enough food or living space or all sorts of things so just, you know, be patient. <laughs> Anyways, with the tavern, all four of my uh, citizens of this colony now have a living space. The beds are in here. Also, this tavern brings other possibilities. So, let me see if I can find her. Ah, here she is. Miss Macy... F. Grafton. So she came along uh, when the tavern was built. Good enough, eh? She wants to be one of my town guards. I can't recruit her yet because I don't have the living space for her. But periodically, uh, you might have to recruit one at a time before another one comes through. But periodically, they'll pop into the tavern. You can recruit them and add them to your village for a cost. That one is four emeralds, which is no big deal to me. On to the next building. This is a really cool 
aspect to this mod. The tavern actually adds music. Also, our tavern brought another person. This one's name is Karen. As it turns out, Karen is not a fan of this place. Rude. Rude, rude, rude. You know how much time I've spent on this? I'll tell you what, a lot less than that builder over there. <laughs> Food source. It's gonna be the Fisher's Hut. The Fisher's Hut is the most simple structure to build uh, for food. Not sure how big it has to be, but we're going to try and put it here. Um, let's see. I might have to get rid of these dark oak. And I got rid of the dark oak uh, trees on either side of this. We're going to put the Fisher's Hut right... Oh yes, the build tool. Right. Um, right here. And we want it facing this way. We'll have it over here just a bit. Just like that. Right up against the edge of the water. Let's check out the resources. We need these right here. And as it happens, I already have them on me because I got them while I was chopping down the dark oak forest. So, let's see, I have to go put these in the builder's hut and then he will get started. And that should be a quick build because it's very small, very few resources. So we won't have long to wait this time. Okay, so we now have a fisherman's hut. This took about 20 to 25 minutes for our builder to complete it. And we also have a fisher woman, actually, Mary J. Culkins, the most disgruntled citizen of our colony, finally has a job. Yay! This is also going to provide uh, our people with food. We just now need a way for it to be cooked. Which brings us to our next point. The restaurant. Side note. This is cool. So the restaurant block is built like this. You need the builder wand up top, apple below it, and once again, seven wood around it. I've already gone ahead and built it right here. I'm gonna bring out my builder tool and we're gonna align this thing how we would like it. I want it facing the tavern. Let's see here. So it starts right about at these torches. So we'll bring it this way. We'll try that. Also, something I wanna say, if you look at this structure, it, it doesn't look that elaborate. Uh, it's level one. It does go up to level five and then progressively starts to get much better looking. That's what it's going to look like eventually. If you're interested in something that looks better than this at level one, I recommend not going with the fortress theme. You've got the jungle, which looks like this at level one, and then you know with each level gets much better as well. But all the other ones actually start with something that looks like a house or a tavern or a restaurant. The fortress one just kind of looks like colonists just settled. And you know, that's why the tavern looks like a wagon. Um, and the builder hut looks like a little U. The fisherman is just a pond, um, but they all get better. I chose this particular theme because I think it matches up with my sort of oasis vibe a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and put this down right here. Mm, right here. Yes. Gives us a two block wide in between area where I can put a path down if I want and it takes it right up to the edge of the dirt. I could not have placed that more perfectly. Love it. These are the resources we're going to need for this to be completed. 
doesn't look like it's going to be too hard. So we're going to go ahead and grab these resources, get our builder started building it. And that should be the last essential building we need to get a thriving colony here. And after that, it's pretty much going to be up to you to decide what buildings you want in your colony. There's a lot here to choose from. Okay, the restaurant has been built and the line starts here. <laughs> so we got Jason Cowell here. He is the star of the show in this restaurant. Uh, I don't know why he wants to know what kind of fuel he needs to use because I already put it in his inventory. But he's basically waiting on Mary Colkins to give him some fish in order to start producing the food to feed the rest of this village. We'll talk about her in a second. However, if you look closely, you can see that Lena Jones here has a new outfit. And that's because I also made a guardhouse. I got tired of all my citizens complaining about the lack of protection, so I thought I'd get started on this, put this over here, and I still haven't given her a bow and arrow, but uh, she's, she's ready to guard. Actually, I'll probably change her for another citizen when I get them, because she's, she's pretty worthless all around in terms of stats. Okay, so I also had my builder construct our town hall over here. And the town hall is pretty interesting. It has suggestions along the entire perimeter about the placement of each structure. So let's say I wanted to build a farmer, I would take the builder's wand when I'd made the farmer structure and I would right click this and just put it out in that direction and it does that for each one. It also has a little tidbit of information here about the chunk visibility thing when you hit F3 and then G you get this. I've already gone over how to do this but figured I'd touch on it again. And then it tells you to place, when you're placing structures, to have the perimeters inside of the perimeters along the edge. So like the builder, for instance, when I placed that, I should have or could have placed the perimeter fences inside of the perimeter fences of the town hall to minimize the space in between each structure. I'm not going to do that. I have a pretty big plot of land here that I can build on, and I'm just going to kind of Put this place together how I see fit but if you're new to this mod these little pieces of information are nice also I am planning on putting my barracks over there so this is kind of perfect sit on inside here just take a peek at what this looks like this is the fortress town hall level one we have now constructed all of the essentials um, for our colony we've got the tavern for housing the restaurant for cooking the food the fishersman's hut over there for catching fish the builder for building everything and then our town hall at this point you can build whatever you want for the next step but I would say your best bet is to either do housing additional housing or resources that way as you progress and you upgrade buildings you won't have to be the one collecting all of the resources especially since if we go in here you can tell the upgrades are incredibly resource intensive like insanely that's a lot of resources um and i don't want to have to collect all that that's why i'll probably create a a lumberjack place and a mine but Earlier I said we'd touch on Mary Culkins, our infamous disgruntled citizen. I believe she is also the partner of Gomershaw here. They had a kid. Let's see if we can find him. Here he is. Gwyn Culkins. Gwyn Culkins grew up in about a day, so he's still a man-child. But his mother over here has been fishing for approximately four hours now. And last I checked, I get to build it again? she has not caught a single fish. Not a single one. 
She wanted a job badly. I gave her a job. And she can't even do the job. So, that brings up the stats of our citizens. So she has three focus and two agility. Those are the two primary stats for gaining experience in the fisherman's hut. Look at that. She just brought it in before she even caught a fish. But those are really low stats. Um, so my best bet, or your best bet, I guess, if you plan on getting a fisherman, is to hire somebody from the tavern that comes along once you get a little bit more housing. Uh, let's see what Alyssa Gold here has. Alyssa Gold has 13 agility and 6 focus. I think those were the two stats. And... The focus is pretty low, the agility would be good, but I probably wouldn't hire her for a fisherman. I had a guy here a little while ago, unless he left. Sir Lancelot, who I literally gave food to get him to stay. Is that him over there? Nope, that's Gwyn. Looks like a Lancelot abandoned the cause, but let's see what Xavier has. So he's got 10 agility, 14 focus. He would probably make a great fisherman. Each profession is going to have two different stats that are going to... Let me get this. Um, there we go. So like this one. It says job fisher. These skills are influenced by the worker's job. You got focus and agility are the two primary ones. Mana helps a little bit. Adaptability and strength. If those are higher, that actually has a negative impact on the amount of XP gained. Dexterity is also a plus 5% bonus. But each profession is going to have something like that that adds to the amount of experience they gain over time and how good they are at it. Just something to keep in mind as you are choosing which citizen does what. All right, that is going to wrap up this little mine colony demonstration. I'm sure I missed a few little pieces. So if you have any questions or any suggestions, drop a comment and I will go over it in future episodes. Speaking of which, this is part of a series, my Craft to Exile series, so if you'd like to catch more of that and more of the development of this colony, subscribe and watch the future videos. I will catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.